to see how far I'll go. I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, Conrad. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? You got it. Shepard? Yeah. Is it really you? It is. It's me, Conrad Werner. I know. We met on the Citadel. We did. I wanted to become a specter. I remember. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. What? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I never did that, I Conrad. That lesson well. Conrad. So you're alive, huh? I am. I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Okay, Conrad. Conrad. For the love of what little sanity I have left. What are you doing here? What are you even talking about? I never once pulled a gun out on you. I thought about it numerous times, but I never did that. What, what is going on? Conrad, why are you acting like me? What are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Okay. All right, Conrad. I have a, a few questions for you. First of all, where did you get that armor from? Please tell me in two years you didn't go through the N7 training program because I know for a fact you didn't. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days. Do if they? you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. Did she? Did she now? Okay. Conrad, what is this about training and everything? Do you have any? Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. Right. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You are a big jerk. What? But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. Out of my control. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. So you decided to become a foe N7 soldier vigilante righting wrongs with zero training or skills or anything like that? Right. That's that's really gonna save everybody. How do you get past security? Because any security worth its salt is gonna know you're not N7, Conrad. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. Uh -huh. I'm doing the best I can, okay? Okay. You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you die. Again, the out of my control. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Okay, um, yeah, something, Conrad. So is this what you do as a job now? So you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. Too late. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. Right. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Okay. All right. Conrad, I'm going to ask you this question for old time's sake. Just answer me honestly. What are you doing here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Okay, Conrad, how about I go handle this and you just stay here and don't do anything stupid. I beg of you, don't talk to anybody, don't look at anybody, just kind of stand here nice and quietly, okay? I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Okay, I'm good though. Right, thank you. I'm sorry about him in advance, though. Oh, Conrad. Conrad, Conrad, Conrad. Okay, is that everybody now? Have we had our official seeing everybody we used to know level of reunion? Because I gotta tell you, I didn't sign up for this portion of our adventure. I didn't actually want to see anybody like this, but here we are. 
And I know I should go see Liara ASAP, but I want to get this Conrad thing ha handled before he does something stupid and gets himself killed. Because knowing Conrad, he's gonna get himself killed real quick if we don't step in. And I feel bad. More, you know, for nostalgia's sake, but at the same time, because it's probably the right thing to do. I think, am I going the right way? I think so. Uh, there was really no other way to go. Okay, this is the transportation shipping. No, I'm guessing we gotta go out. Is that another door over Listen, there? I, know the I think I saw, yes. Let's try this other family. door. Dante, See if it gets us to, uh, wait. Oh, he said carport, and that says transportation. So that would theoretically lead to where we gotta go, right? Good, excellent. I hope I'm going the right way, because this place sure is confusing. Why are all these places just so big? Yeah, I see. Is that a car carport, I think. And that weapons merchant, possibly. Hello, can I talk to you? Can I help you with something? Yeah, I heard you talk to Conrad. I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Are you really this bad at acting? Like, really? I've seen that. Never mind. Listen, it, that was terrible. And you think you can lie to me? Do I look like somebody that you can lie to? Do I look like Conrad to you? No, I don't. So listen, I'm going to say this once. And I'm gonna only say it once because I really, A, I hate repeating myself even though I find myself doing that more and more the older I get, which really says a lot about me and just the level of stress I've been under. But anyways, I got something to tell you. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait. This whole place is under video surveillance. So? You can't shoot me? Uh-huh. I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No, you're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job and then you're gonna leave, that's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? Okay. I'll do that. Talk to Werner and I'm gone, I swear. Thank you, good luck. Okay, so we should probably go shopping, right? And then celebrate the fact that we handled this. While we're here shopping, is there anything else down here I kinda all wanna- walls of Ilium. What? Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil. Is of that Chanka. is that a let our scorching sun Krogan reciting and rain poetry? Turn your supple beauty into strength. And he just used the Your phrase supple beauty. Um, what's going on? What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems love are getting poems. on my nerves. That's that's what that is. Okay, I'm. Oh, this is a unique situation. I don't think I've Let ever thought I'd, I'd be talking to somebody about the fact that there's a Krogan chunk. reciting love poems, but do you need any help? Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. Not really. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. I mean, it's not the best poetry, but it's really sweet. Do you mind if I ask why you guys are on a break slash broke up kind of thing? So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. Not taken. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. Have you talked to him about that, or...? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Oh, that's actually really sweet. So let me ask you the opposite question then. What was your reason for dating him? It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but 
Eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Yeah. And then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Okay. Listen, for the sake of everybody's sanity, and especially your own, you might want to consider making a decision soon. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. I mean, look at the guy. He's clearly crazy about you, and didn't you just admit that you love him? Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Anytime. Good luck. Did I just play matchmaker between a Nasari and a Krogan who was spouting off love poetry? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Today officially just got really weird. Let's, uh, continue on then. It was really nice that she gave me a discount at her store you? because I ended up what buying a new fish. Don't look at me with that tone of voice, you two, but listen. Well, you know the fish tank the only had a few fish, and there's definitely scarring? room for more. It's and the horrible. fact that I have a fish there's tank a on my ship is really weird. Fish. But you know what? I'm kind of here for it. So I think that uh, we should go back, not get Conrad killed, kind of thing. And then we should start thinking about new names for the fish. Actually, I don't know if I've actually ever really named my fish kind of just like fish one and fish two there are so many of them if i tried to name them all it would take forever but maybe one day maybe maybe i'll sit down one day and just kind of like you know stare at my fish tank and start picking out names that when do i have time for that i mean between if grunt being grunt have, and well you know the ship needing a perpetual babysitter and joker trying to with disconnect ed half the time i never have time for that but one day i'm going to make time for that and it'll be glorious It'll be like the first time I've had time off in, well, since I woke up. Does the two years I was dead count as time off? Because I don't think that that should count as time off, you two. Really shouldn't. Conrad, I got news for you. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. Yeah, Conrad, you did great. Now you need to stop. Like, honestly, it's time to go back to your everyday normal life. Stop being a vigilante N7 kind of person. You did a good job, Conrad. Now that I'm back, though, how about if you go back to your old life? Can do. Perfect. Thanks for not being too mad. Anytime. It's really good to have you back. Thanks, Conrad. Okay. Should we go see Liara now? Because that's probably the best thing to do before I find anybody else I've met as my time is, you know, me. Who's going to show up next? I don't know. But you know what? Anything is possible at this point if Conrad, Werner, and I were on this pl like this place at the same time. I don't know what the level of coincidence there is, the but either way, it's terrifying. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. Hey, Liara. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's really good to see you, too. How have you been? It's good to see you, too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. You are very well informed if you know that. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Fair. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. Actually, yeah, there are two people I need to find. The first is a Justicar. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. 
You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Okay, I think that that's where I just was at the carport kind of area. So I think I know where I'm going for that. And then the other one is an assassin named Thane. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. Really? He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. Okay, uh, I think that that's the first area right before you get to the transfer. Okay, perfect. I think I know where I'm going for that. Wait, how did you just know that all off the top of your head like it was nothing? That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. Yeah, you the are. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Fair, fair. Thank you for the info. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I mean, I'm good on the information for right now, but listen, if you want to stop by the ship and get some dinner and hang out, like, I know Garrison and Tally are here now, but Joker's on the ship and stuff like that. I'm sure he'd love to see you and, or we could do dinner out here, like whatever you want to do, but you know, it'd be really nice to have some time to catch up while we're here. I'll talk to you later, Liara. And, you know, let me know about dinner and stuff like that, and we'll make plans. Right, guys? Yes, good, excellent, okay. Let's go find ourselves an assassin and adjust a car. It'll be great. Um, did Liara just threaten somebody like that? Because I gotta say, that's new. I'm here for it, but it's definitely new. Listen, do we want to go catch an assassin first or adjust a car first? I can't decide, so... I'm gonna let you two pick because normally I pick and then that makes everybody cranky. So while we head that way, think about who you want to, you know, go kidnap, rescue, find, convince to come work with us first. All right, I think we've all decided to go find the assassin first. I feel like that's just a good idea, right? We should probably figure out where the assassin is before he does any more uh, assassinating. You know, not that I don't trust him because I'm sure he's really trustworthy and everything like that, even though he's an assassin, but still, I would like to, to know what he's up to, kind of thing. I think this is who I need to talk to. Serena, who wants to know? Uh, me. I just have a few questions for you. Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana. Cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? It just, you know, where is he? All I need to know is just where he is. I'm not here to hurt him or anything like that. I kind of sort of want to be his friend, as odd as that might sound. Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Okay. This is all very, very interesting. Tell me more about Nasana, because it all is sound... It sounds familiar. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years <gasps> ago. Right. Oh! She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Nah. Well, you know what she's capable of then. I do. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. Lovely. That's lovely. She still sounds like the same old Nasana that I barely remember, but still remember. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs, high tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Okay. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. That's probably a good thing, because a worried assassin would worry me more than an unworried assassin. I, it, the logic checks out, trust me. Do you know where said assassin has gone off to? So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower 1.
There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Okay, do you have access to that, or...? It doesn't sound like Nisana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Oh, we're totally 100% ready to go, right? Guys, anybody need a snack, bathroom break? No, 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 everybody. Okay, we're good, let's go. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Okay. 